Hi, I'm Matt Corcoran, an application engineer with CAD Dimensions, and this is our FDM materials series. I'll be covering some of the most unique materials available on the Stratasys FDM printers. Today we're talking about Duran. Duran is a nylon-based thermoplastic used in 3D printing. It's very durable and tough and resistant to hydrocarbon-based chemicals. Duran also has a very smooth surface finish, which is perfect for non-marring factory floor tooling such as this end of arm tool here used on the end of a robot to pick and place parts without damaging them. Other applications include jigs, fixtures, prototyping, and low volume production of highly customized parts. This inspection fixture for an F-Series head is a great example of a part you'd want to replace with Durant. It's usually made out of aluminum, which is very heavy, expensive, has a long lead time, and can damage the part you're trying to inspect. Like most FDM materials, Duran can be painted, sanded, machined, and media blasted. Duran can be printed on the Stratasys F370, and it uses a breakaway support system called SUP4000B. It also is printed on a high temperature build tray. Due to its smooth surface finish, one of the fun things you can print with Duran are air hockey parts. I printed these four parts all in the same build tray and it took about 20 hours to print. Overall, I was happy with how these printed. I printed them with a 10 thou layer height and a double dense infill. One thing to note about Duran is it is very moisture sensitive, so it's important to store it in a dry environment. However, the spool can be placed in the printer overnight to dry it out. The material used here had a bit of moisture in it, which caused some surface defects. Also, Duran prints very hot, so be sure to wear gloves when handling the parts in the tray right out of the printer. So here's some footage of us playing air hockey with these parts. There you go, now we'll get it down. If you'd like more information about Duran, connect with us on our website at caddimensions.com. Thanks for watching.